So the first thing that I need to do is I need to label my two different pieces. My first account is 10%. So we're gonna go ahead and call that account A at 10%. And the second account only paid 8%. So we're gonna call that account B at 8%. Now, what I know is I inv invested a total of $3,400. So now I need a statement how I do those pieces. So what that tells me is the amount that I put in account A plus account B is equal to $3,400. All right, that's for all of this information. What do we know? Again, our known piece of information is here is that the principal, which again, that's the money, times the rate, and that rate has to be in, as a decimal, is equal to the interest earned. So let's break this down. So for account A, then I know I have to add in whatever is in account B is going to equal my total. All right, so I have a few things that I know. Um, for account A, I remember, and again, it's always money times the decimal. And in this case, I take that 10% and turn it into my decimal. And then for account B, money, times the decimal for account B in 0.8%, um, 8% turns into 0.08. Be really careful with this. Make sure you have that the 0.08. Um, moving something from a percent to a decimal, you just take wherever the decimal is and move it over two places. And that's what I did with uh, 10 as well. Is equal to the total amount of money earned, which was the $310. Now, what we don't know yet is how much money to go into both. But I get that from the fact that I have, I know A plus B is equal to 3,400. So solve for A. And so A is going to equal the 3,400 minus whatever was in count B. And now I just have everything that I need. I'm gonna plug that in right there. So now I know that the 3,400 minus B is times the 0.10%. And I know that looks really weird there, so we're not gonna put it at the end. We're gonna just move that in the front, because otherwise that's gonna look really strange when I go to distribute. And for account B, just call that B times 0.08 is all equal to the 310. So now my equation is all set up. What I have to do now is just go through and distribute, and we will find out how much is in account B. So that gives me 340 minus 0 0.10B plus 0.08B is equal to $310. I want to, at this point, combine my like terms over here and subtract 340 from both sides. And that leaves me with a negative 0 0.02b is equal to negative 30. And then finally divide both sides. And that tells me that the amount of money that I invested in um, uh, the account B is $1,500. Now, um, how do you find the amount that goes into account A? And then remember what we said, account B was the one at 8%. So how much goes into account A? I just go back to my 3,400 minus B all the way up here and plug that in. And I know that in account A, a, which we called at 
is equal to $1,900.